Welcome to this EM Express video. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies Curriculum. In this demo I'll show you where to find information about EM Express, how to start it and give you an overview over the database homepage. Oracle Enterprise Manager Database Express 12C or EM Express for short is a tool built inside the database, a web tool that supports basic database administration tasks as well as performance management tasks. Because EM Express has no mid-tier or middleware components, the overhead on the database server is really minor. If you wish to read more about the tool before starting it, you can consult the Oracle Database 2-day DBA documentation. It tells you that you can start EM Express by providing the host name colon 5500 port slash EM by default. What do you need to do when you're not sure if you're working with the default configuration or not? You can use the DBMS XDB config package as shown on the slide to find out uh, which port numbers were used, if they were misplaced or if they were not written down during installation. If you found out that you do need to configure HTTPS, you can also do that with this package. To summarize, the non-default setup re requirements include an entry in the local listener and the TNS names file. EM Express is a servlet built on top of Oracle XMLDB. The Oracle XMLDB default wallet has a self-signed certificate and some browsers consider self-signed certificate as untrusted because they are not signed by a trusted certificate authority. So the self-signed certificate is still secure as it ensures that the traffic is encrypted between the Oracle XMLDB server and the client, the browser in this case. So what that means is the first time you log in, you need to accept the security exception for the EM Express URL in your web browser. Then you enter a valid DBA username and password. The various sections on the database homepage provide information about the environment and the status of the database. For example, you see that this database has been up for a certain amount of time, that it does not have any backup and recovery running, the archiver is stopped. You see there were no incidents in the last 24 hours. You can see running jobs. Then to the right, with all these graphs, if you move your cursor over the graph, you see on the right how the legend is highlighted and you see detailed information. Similar here in the data storage section, you see that the user data take up more space than system and sysox. You can look at pool information, memory, the user, or if there are any wait activities, and so on. At the bottom of the page, you see long-running SQL statements that may affect the performance of your database. If you discover any potential problem, you can click on that particular area or you can use these menu items to specifically drill down for example into uh, current database properties, memory usage, we have storage here, security and performance. About each of these menu items we will have a separate demonstration. You have immediate access here to the help system, the Oracle online documentation, to forums as well as the technology network. You see the user is which you are logged in. Of course, you should really not be working a system unless it is a demo. Or you can log out from the system. And one item that I would like to highlight is the refresh icon here. If you wish the page to refresh, do use this icon. Do not use the browser reload, which has a different functionality. Oracle Enterprise Manager Database Express has more functionality than I could show in such a short overview video. For example, it's compatible with multi-tenant container databases. It can be used with a single rack database. And we have already created several additional videos more may be coming, so please keep checking on OLL. Thanks for watching this demonstration.